I'll tell you a little secret about mindfulness and leadership. A lot of people in leadership positions, just by virtue of being human, have a lot of what we call mind chatter or monkey mind going on inside. A lot of self-doubt, a lot of questioning, a lot of just a lot of stuff that's always there. And what mindfulness does is it helps calm that down. Um, so it allows you to be fully present, allows you to be fully in the moment and to be able to see things as they truly are unfolding because again what the mind does is it sometimes takes something that doesn't feel like it's going very well and makes it much feels much worse than it actually is and again what mindfulness does is it allows you to, to ah okay it's it's not this big it's really this big and when that happens as a leader you don't feel like you have to try to avoid something or put a lot of energy into figuring out how you're going to make sure that it doesn't explode on you. When you're seeing it for what it really is, the energy goes into, I can do this. I can, I can meet this. This is, this is not a gigantic thing. This is something that's very manageable for me. And the other thing that happens with mindfulness is that you start to develop a very natural confidence. You start to be able to say, I have everything I need right here. And because that mind chatter has started to quiet down, you're able to access more of that inner wisdom, which we all have. It tends to be more quiet, the chatter's very loud, the wisdom's quieter. So when you have direct access to that, you also have direct access to your creativity, your ability to be innovative, your ability um, for compassion and empathy, particularly when you're listening to employees or coworkers, and you're able to, again, really be present and, and calm as well. And that starts to build the confidence because you start to see that you really have access to all these different things that are within you which is a really, really amazing thing. So we can talk about mindfulness until the cows come home, but until you actually practice it, you don't get the benefit. So one exercise you can try, it's something actually that was developed at Genentech, which is a biotech firm. And what they do is they, they call it the three, three center check-in. So you're actually checking into what are, the, what are the pillars of mindfulness in terms of awareness of emotion, awareness of, of thoughts, and awareness of body sensation. So again, I invite you to close your eyes. Just take a breath. No need to change anything. And just simply become aware of any thoughts that are running through your mind. Now the key here is to not get involved with those thoughts, more to just simply observe that they're happening. You might see them kind of just move over the screen of your mind. And maybe it's the same thought, and that's okay. You're just watching. And as we continue to breathe, you're now just going to simply notice any feelings or emotions you're having. And again, you're just simply observing. You're not getting involved with those feelings. You're just simply noticing that you're having them. And as we breathe, we're now going to shift into the body sensations. So just noticing how your body feels as a whole. Maybe you're just aware of feeling supported by your chair. Maybe you're just aware of the shape of your body, just sitting in space right now, the space it's taking up. Maybe you're just noticing the sensation of breathing. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. So what this does is this grounds you. So it gives you a sense of being able to see, where am I at right now? It kind of gives you a snapshot. But again, it gives you the snapshot with a little bit of distance. You, you're just observing. And you have a little bit more objectivity about where you're at. And because you've also now calmed the nervous system, you're seeing it with a little bit more of that relaxation, a little bit more of that, ah. <sighs> so you're able to connect and focus. And I think doing something like that, particularly before a meeting, especially a meeting you're going to be leading, or any kind of situation where your mindfulness or your leadership has to really be out there, is a really great idea. It's a great, great way of, of centering oneself.